Hello children. The story I'm going to read to you today is called Melissa's Octopus and Other Unsuitable Pets. So maybe when we're together in September you can tell me if you've got any pets and you can tell me all about them. I'd really like to know. Here is Melissa's octopus. What a splendid creature he is. Unfortunately, an octopus is not a very suitable pet. You should see the mess he makes in the bathroom. Thomas has a much smaller pet, a lovely little mole. But the mole is always digging tunnels, which makes him very hard to find. Thomas never knows where he'll pop up next. Poor Betty, she can never find her pet either. He's a chameleon. Where can he be today? This is Arthur's warthog. Isn't he a beautiful animal? But a warthog is not a great pet. A warthog does exactly what it wants. Mm. It's eating those lovely flowers. Caroline's giraffe is a gentle pet with lovely long legs. Oh, look. She needs a ladder to get to his face. She's a bit too tall for Caroline. Oh. A nice hug. This is Simon's worm. He's not a bad pet, but Simon never knows which end to talk to. This is Peter's elephant. He is very big. He is also very heavy. Mm. Sometimes he's upstairs and he ends up downstairs by mistake. Kevin and Bertrand are very proud of their new pet crocodile. They have invited Melissa, Thomas, Betty, Arthur, Caroline, Simon and Peter round to see it. Look at its glittery teeth. Hey, crocodile, what have you done with Kevin and Bertrand? And where are Melissa, Thomas, Betty, Arthur, Caroline, Simon and Peter? Oh no. What do you think's happened to them? Oh, phew. They're all having tea together. But next time, they'd better watch out. crocodile really is the most unsuitable pet of all. Yikes! I hope you enjoyed that story. It'll be lovely to see you all soon.